We've had a red flag here at Donington Park, but we're ready to go racing again for the restart of the BMW Compact. Away we go on board of Andrew Chanks, a great start from Tom Wadslow Carl. There in the number 38 car, the British touring car racer moves up the third, but it's side by side for the lead. It's Rob Boston, that's Steve Roberts, and Rob Boston, the guest driver this weekend, is going to go up on the inside and take the race lead from pole position. A good run through Tom Wadslow Carl through Redgate Corner, meeting alongside Steve Roberts, the best um, of regular drivers, as he heads on to Hollywood. Then we've got a huge gag of the cars. They were trying to be in fourth. The cars head down the crane occurred, and we will see when they get to the old hairpin. It's Boston that leads. Seconds on Slow Car. We've got ahead of Steve Roberts. As they go through the cement dust that caused the red flag, um, car go um, dropping lots of oil all round. But a good run out the corner for Steve Roberts. He draws up alongside Tom Onslow Car and goes through. So Roberts back up to second, but Rob Boston, he's got away in all this. So it's leading to um, it's Boston. Second, Steve Roberts. He's gone up to second. Third, Onslow Car. Fourth is Danny Wynn Stanley, another guest driver. Fifth, Andrew Chang. He's won the most races in 2012. We can ride on board of the car that sits behind him. That's Kevin. Deadwood, and an awesome and dust down here as the cars slide to the exit of the corner then power completely on as they head now down towards the chicane Danny with Stanley having a look at on slow coal I don't think he'll be able to do it as we go into yet another dust cloud the exit of the corner good run from Deadwood trying to have a run at um, Chang as for the second position is also Cole okay, trying to have a look at Roberts on the outside Roberts defending his position late on the brakes and he's right with Boston as well so the three leaders again but also Cole a bit on the grass there Kevin Denwood under lots of pressure but he chops Alex Dew off and stays in front of him and Chang just in front of the two of them through the craners, down towards the old heaven they go. So it's Boston, still with that lead from Robert. Then Onslow Co. After lap one, there was four attempts between the two leaders. A race shortened, of course, from the original 13 minutes plus one lap. Now the distance is nine minutes plus the lap, we believe. Um, there, Chang having to defend from Deadwood from Coffin to go, they bounce over the curve. Okay for everybody, they stay on the tarmac, heading now down towards the chicane. As we said, the gap was 0.42 and they got to the line last time. And Roberts closed in on Rob Boston, we wonder when they cross the line. They break the timing beam and as they do that now, the gap's down to 0.31. So a tenth quicker from Robert, he can really see that now. But Rob Boston late on the break, but is he too late? He runs out very wide. Steve Roberts now seeing this as an opportunity as they head on to Hollywood. Almost side by side, not quite, but Roberts trying to get his nose in there which means they can go side by side through the Craners now. It's the outside line from Roberts, and now he keeps the inside here, as he's trying to do as they head into the old hairpin. He squeezes up on the inside of Boston. When Stanley goes through, drives into the back of Boston. When Stanley went up on the inside of Onslow Cole, but found Rob Boston slow on the exit, running to the back of him. So that's allowed Onslow Cole to fight his way back in front, yes. Denwood there goes side by side with Chang almost. I think Chang just... Getting in front of him as they now exit the corner down towards Coppice Corner they go then. And this has all allowed the leader Steve Roberts, the new leader Steve Roberts, to pull away. So we're going board with Andrew Chang then. He's just behind Danny Wynn Stanley. We head down to Chicane to complete what will be the third lap of the race. But we believe that Steve Roberts has got a, now a healthy lead. Perhaps a healthy enough lead to hold off Boston to the end. And Roberts looked very strong in these first couple of laps. So when they break the time in being, we we'll see the gap. That indicates 0.96. Almost a second. And is Steve Roberts' advantage. 
already getting towards the halfway distance as Boston kicks up the grass on the inside and then the outside is all over the grass and the exit of the corner but Boston finds himself back onto the track but that's going to allow Steve Roberts to pull out his lead even more his third is on Sake Hull, fourth is Win Stanley, fifth is Chang and Kevin Denwood there has fallen down to seven yes he has now he it that fought his way in the front. Well, it's Martin Gambling who's ahead of Denwood now. Um, so the car's on that fourth lap of the race. Out of McClay or onto the cold now with Stanley. The two of them breaking away from Andrew Chan now. They're sick feet. Gamble and Stemp is still Denwood calling by himself. They're under pressure from Mountain who's trying to come past him. And Alex Jew now getting a run on Denwood as they head down the back straight. So they're going to be side by side heading down to the Essex Chicane. And if um, Jew could stay there, he won the first race at Brands Hatch. If he could stay there on the inside of Denwood, yes, he's done that. And he goes through. Look, Kevin Denwood won, won the races here at this, this meeting in June, the Donington Park meeting. He's dropped Derry down to eight, but now by South will be having to look for a way through in uh, this corner here. We're going one red gate. And Denwood. We've ran the outside mountain all over the grass. But he's gone past by South because he was finding the way past him. And here comes Stuart Voice as well. So by South here could fall to the back of this queue of cars. He has done that, has he? Yes, he's fallen right to the back of this quintet, he was third of them heading out of the chicane. Denwood is still in a good run here on Alex Stewart, he wants to get this position back. They all avoid that some dust that's been put down with soaking up the oil that was dropped, we believe, by Neil Roach. The voice goes past Denwood as well, but they're going to run side by side through the crane as fruit. The voice gets it done. By itself still behind all of them as they head through the old hairpin. They exit the corner. This has allowed Alex Jew to get away from the, from the quartet now that's behind him. Been led by Mountain. Second of those. Voice, the two of them coming through nicely. Then Denwood. Then we ride on board and by south into into. McLean's and we should have one to go at the end of this. The time will be run out by the time they cross the lights. The last lap board will be put out to the drivers. When the leaders crossed the line, they completed a lap five. The gap had come down to four tenths of a second. So Rob Boston bringing that gap down on Steve Roberts. So that would be interesting to see if Boston can do anything on the last lap. It's of course last time, the first race of the weekend. Robert, oh, there's someone in the gravel there. Um, it was Boston that led the whole race. No, sorry, Roberts that led the whole race, and Boston went through on the last corner. He only led about the last 100 metres of the race. So, it's a similar situation here, except for that Roberts hasn't led the whole race. Boston did lead some of it, but Boston's fall back onto the tower of Steve Roberts. They slide their way through the old hairpin. There's Carl Emps or maybe two between them, so Steve Roberts would be absolutely eager to win this one. They head up to McLean's, can he do so? The number 56 car, he's raced these cars all year from Boston. And off, Stuart Voice has gone off the old hairpin. I think he did that in the first race, if I remember correctly. Hopefully, 
Graham it looked like he would back onto the tarmac right, safely. The fruit cop is Steve Roberts still the like perhaps a big enough gap. He's got Tomonslo Cole still under a lot of pressure from Danny Wynn Stanley, who he wanted to make away past him. Andrew Shang in fifth, just in front of Martin Gamblin. What can Kevin Denwood do on this flat lap of the race? Dave Houghton just in front. Either. So Mountain has a real go around the outside of Ju, but Ju had that one defended. Now can Denwood get the run? Out of Chicane to the line. I think Mountain should keep his eight. So they take the check flat. Nice battle there to the end. But it was Steve Roberts that held on to win by just over a quarter of a second to Rob Boston. In third was the BTCC Racer guest driver this weekend. Tom Wanslow Cole finished here in third. Fourth was Danny Winstanley in fifth. Andrew Chang.